All right, good morning, everybody. It's 10.30 in the morning on Wednesday, April 8th. Uh, just a couple quick things. Reminders, uh, I have the Schoology page open for you to look at. I uh, have a video chat every Monday through Thursday. It's like my office hours, Earth Science Help. Uh, it's Monday through Thursday uh, from 12.30 to 1.30. If you guys want to join in, it's video chat. So there's a link, and I put it in Schoology and Google Classroom, as well as a how-to video. You just go to it, and you go to the folder. He's in the link right here, Earth Science Help. Click on the link, that's it. There's no password or anything else. You don't need to download anything, although there is an app for it one. Just click on it and join, and then I'll be there waiting for you from 12.30 to 1.30. You can ask me any, any Earth Science questions, anything about the homework, any questions in general about what's going on with like exam or anything else uh, that you want to have some clarification on. And it's open to all students too, not just students in our class. Then I also wanted you guys to join Remind. So I put the code in there, what you need to do to join the Remind app. I like to get you guys on the Remind app because it's quicker for me to get out updates and you know videos to you or anything else that you think is important. It's easier for me to get that out to you directly to the your phone that way. All right, today, just a couple quick things. One, weather-wise, Oh, that was my son. Weather-wise, uh, it's been pretty nice around here. You know, there's days with rain, days with not, but the weather's been okay. Uh, it's gonna continue that way. But in other parts of the world, they're getting hurricanes. Not yet in our part of the world. But in the Pacific Ocean, in the Pacific Ocean, they are in hurricane season. And near Vanuatu and Fiji, uh, Category 5, a uh, hurricane. They don't call it a hurricane, they call it a cyclone. Remember, cyclones have one eye. Cyclops is one eye. Um, so it's a category five, it's pretty big. And that's, you know, devastating Fiji right now. So that's just a weather thing out there. The other thing I just wanted to mention, just the coronavirus COVID-19 update, just a little bit. You see we have in our, in our county right here, uh, 1,235 cases. Uh, less than 100 are active. You see all the people have recovered. There have been 39 deaths. Um, but just something to pay attention to, as I mentioned to you guys here, um, a little bit different across the world right now. Um, you see the bubbles here are showing you where it's the bi biggest across the world. And that's a total number of cases, not active cases. So like in China, they've lifted some of their restriction policies and they can travel now where they've been they weren't able to for like almost three months. And then you see the countries here, the colors correspond to where it's growing the fastest. So the darker shade of like orange is where it's growing the fastest, doubling the fastest. You see, we're starting to see a bit of a plateau going down here in our own country, but places like Russia and India and uh, Niger and Belarus and other places are getting, um, it's increasing, like it's getting worse. They're on the up, like in terms of like the chart of like flattening that curve we've mentioned before, it's going up in their countries. And then something else I thought was interesting is if you kind of look at some of the states you see around here um, in our country, you see some of the hot spots. It's obviously hardest hit in New York State, New Jersey, and Connecticut, but there are other bubbles around New Orleans, Chicago, Atlanta, over in LA, Seattle, uh, Denver. And the one thing I want to show you guys, if I click on the maps here, is if I show you our state, uh, cases by state, we can get to it here, is um, except for all the places near New York City, we have the most cases in our state. So like, we don't want to include New York City there. All the cases in our state are mostly in New York City, but um, we're getting a lot of them here in Western New York. I don't know why it's not working right now, that's okay. That's all I really wanted to show you guys. But you notice that people have been mentioning now you have to wear a um, face mask when you go out. Um, you can Google this anytime. I just have one here, I have a link here to show you. You, can Google them. you don't have to necessarily buy them, you can make them yourselves, whether you sew them or not sew them. There are no sew ones, like bandanas and things, and hair ties. There are ones that people can sew together. Um, you can look them up. Like I have one here. That my wife made for me from an old t-shirt. And she did sew it. But then there's hair ties. 
here around the ends and this little shirt. Um, and you're supposed to wear this now anytime you go out in public. And you're supposed to keep it on the entire time. Doing something like this when you're out in public, taking it down to talk or something, that's not good because you know, the whole point of the mask is to stop the virus from going into your mouth and it's gonna hit on the edge on the outside. If you keep taking it off and on, off and on, off and on, you're gonna get it on your hands and then you're gonna go like this to your face and then you're gonna get infected. So if you guys are going out, it's recommended to wear a face mask now and to keep it on the entire time that you're out. Again, if you guys, this isn't working. So today, video chat, if you guys wanna log in, it'd be cool. Otherwise, have a great day.